I'm leaning on a skip where lots of people's rubbish goes. <clears throat> and uh, from what I can tell, a lot of you are really struggling with your embouchure. You've all done your summer schools, music schools, um, with a lot of playing, and you've discovered, judging by the emails and communication I've got, that you want to scrap your embouchure and start again. Can I just say, please don't, don't, don't do this. There's too many teachers, coaches, what have you, that are hell bent on, oh, you need to change your embouchure, you need to change your embouchure. Well, what is a change? A, a, a change could be micro. A change could just be a little tweak that you'll hardly feel with some proper guidance. Change. Sometimes in people's minds it's got to be radical, black to white, green to brown. Your embouchure is probably working pretty well. It's just that you've pushed it into an area, i.e. six and seven hours playing in a day. When I've been uh, um, embouchure coach um, in residence at a couple of the summer schools that I've done in the past, it, it's, it takes you to a higher limit. Think about it. So you, you've been playing whatever you've been playing orchestral, brass band, big band, rehearsing, and you've done an hour and a half, two hours, and then stopped. But some of these summer schools are melting pots, and they will find every little issue, like, like water, you know, fill a container up with water, and if there's the smallest leak, it will find it. And it's the same with your embouchure. If your embouchure is leaking, either air or musculature, it could even be leaking from lack of stamina. Please don't think you've got to scrap your embouchure and start again. You'll cause yourself all sorts of problems. Most of the muscles will be in place. I like to give some tips. I like to give something away. I like to help you. I like to show that I'm in the same boat. I'm a, I'm a player and I want to play as well as I possibly can. So here we have, what's that? It's a rear view mirror. It's a rear view mirror. What do you use it for? I put it on my music stand. You know, the little suction cup there and there's a little thing there. Holds it on. What do I want that for? I hear you ask. I keep an eye on my embouchure all the time. I've got what you call a precious embouchure. I've got, uh, I've got focal dystonia. Um, uh, I've got scar tissue uh, on paper I shouldn't be able to play in fact that was um, mentioned several times in front of my bed in hospital uh, by the doctors and nurses and the surgeon that performed an operation said you'll never play again oh great, thank you very much anyway, so I use this and uh, keep an eye on the embouchure I see any movement there that I don't like any leaks so, I really am here to help you, and, and humbly I say to you, I, I didn't set out to become an expert. There's one or two of you that have said certain things online, I'll hardly respond to it, I, I'm, I'm not really bothered I, I, about what people say, oh there's not one size fits all. I don't teach or coach or advocate one size fits all. I think what it is, the Stratus embouchure system, which I dreamt and developed and sells all over the world, gives an impression that it's a fixed thing. It's, it's the most movable, it's the most interchangeable, it's the most, what's the word? For you device in the world. We'll adjust it for you. And some players have said, oh, I'd have a Stratus, but I move my chin around. That's fine. Why is that fine? Because we'll train you to get the blood and oxygen going on one note or two notes.
sustained notes. They don't need to be moving around all over the place. You don't, we'll find a place for you. I beseech you to check this out. Um, thousands now have, 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 have gone all over the world. I think one went to Australia this morning, one went to New Zealand and, and Switzerland. Mind you, the Swiss guy could be using it to repair his cuckoo clock, but I don't think so. I think he's in for a surprise if I've got a one-to-one -one with him in the couple, next couple of days. So get yourself um, a rear view mirror and put it on your music stand. Keep an eye on what you're doing. Don't let it be a mystery between the mouthpiece and the mouth. And I can help you understand that mystery. Things happen for a reason. Now, when you've been doing your summer schools and you're, and you're playing uh, hours and hours and hours and hours, you possibly would have found that you haven't got the stamina you thought you once had. I know we've had lockdowns, I know all that, but possibly you haven't done the warm-ups, you haven't got into it, you've gone from playing one or two hours straight into playing seven or eight hours for three or four days, muscularly. The brain goes, what is going on? And ironically, the very antidote to that lack of stamina, mispitching, weakness somewhere in the mouth, is remedied by blood and oxygen, but it can't get through. It's been called, the duress has been created by the playing of six or seven hours, or however long you've been doing. The duress has been created and the blood and oxygen has been sent for, but it can't get through. So the conversation goes, the lips say to the brain, where's the blood and oxygen? Brain says, I've sent it. And the lips are saying, well, we're not getting it. Well, of course you're not. You've increased the pressure. You've put a roadblock up. You've put an impasse up. You've dammed it up. You've put a tourniquet there. Whatever word you want to use. Yeah, I, I do feel that I want you to know I didn't set out. I want to become an embouchure specialist. I'm with that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. But every technique I've used to learn to play, I've used on my clients. I don't like the word clients. They're not really customers, I don't like that either. They're friends through music, whether they bought the book, Range Without Resistance, over a year writing, five o'clock in the morning, <clears throat> whether it's the Range Without Resistance, whether it's my seven golden rules, you can have them for free, or whether it's the Stratus Encore Pro. Now, as many of you know as well, we're on the way for the new Stratus. Um, thanks very much to Kickstarter and all your contributions. I don't want to go into that now, I'm working on that currently. I just want you to know, one, I'm here for you. I don't say anything I don't believe will help you. So, oh, who am I? I'm Marcus Reynolds, the embouchure guy, stratusbrass.com. Join the mailing list. I'll help you even more. Take care. I hope you really enjoyed that video. Now go and watch either that one or that one because you don't know where the next little bit of magic that you need as a brass player will be coming from. Oh, and before you go, give us a like and a subscribe and we'll let you know when the next video is coming out. Bye-bye.